Okay, I'm going to go into the elections office here. It's a public building. So I'm going to find out how to deal with the uh, PCP write-ins. Hi, David. Um, I guess I need to talk to Roxanne. I'm going to... I need to find out about the write-in PCPs. I've got issues about that. Okay. Oh, hi, Roxanne. Um, I'm going to film this because I want the documentations of the rules and everything, what goes on here. Okay. But um, I need to find out what's happened with the PCPs that should have get, gotten written in. Which ones? Um, let's start off with uh, Nick Orr. O R R. How do you know they should have been written? Because he wrote himself in. I wrote him in. My mom wrote him in. That's three people to write him in. Was he written was a, in the correct precinct? Should have been. Under male or female? No. Should have been. Well, if it wasn't though, then it would not have been tallied. So is that your excuse why I can't look into this? It's not an excuse. It's what happened. How do you know this? Because I participated in the tally and the proofing. What is his issue? I don't know individually. I mean, we have already boxed up all of those um, those um, ballots, so I'm not going back in there. So you, you're not even going to look into why somebody had three votes? Yes, we did. We already did, and we audited it. Did you tell him this? No, we don't have to. He didn't. If he didn't get at least three votes, according to what we tallied, and say that, and it could have, if, if it was a precinct, say vote well, for eight, your, and seven people filed, and there was that, one position it. left over, and so one person received four votes, and five people received three votes, only the person that received the four votes would qualify for that precinct. Right. Okay, so I have 91 precincts. Okay, he's in 1677. There's three people on there. I'm one of them. Mm -hmm. There's an empty spot. Did it get filled up? We'll have the final results on the results. Why can't I know that now? Because we don't have it certified yet. I can give you an unofficial. He didn't get a ballot. He should be on the ballot. He should have got elected. Why? Why is he not getting this? We need to know this now. I know there's an issue today, right now. I know there's an issue. He should have been on there. I don't. I, I, why are you not looking we, into this? We already did, and you could you what's had the, an opportunity. What's his excuse? No, I don't. What, what's your excuse of why he's not on there? We we already conducted the tally. Well, you could have observed at that time, or he could have come in and observed at that time. We tallied so for almost four days. So I came in here and I asked one time if I could go back there, and I was denied. When? It was when you guys were tallying it up. It was well within the time. Yeah. I didn't push the issue because I didn't think it was going to be an yeah, issue. You could have. I know I could have, but I didn't think, see, I, there were so many things going on, I don't know what issue to go after and attack and, and get in there and do that. I didn't know Nick Orr was going to be an issue. I didn't know to cover my butt to get Nick Orr in there. I assumed me writing him in, my mom writing him in, and him writing him in well, would have gotten him in. He can be appointed by the, the party. Then he can't vote in the official elections in November. He can't vote for the party officials. And he'll be too late to get in to vote for the delegates. Mm -hmm. We're voting for delegates and on June 23rd, in two weeks. Mm -hmm. I need every PCP I can possibly get to get in there and vote. He's being denied this right. There's other people also. I had 30 people that I was trying to get in. Most of them have not got that letter. You know no, they will not have received it because they went out on the forums. Yeah, and so now I'm just finding out they didn't get it. I want to know why they didn't get their stuff. Because they did not meet the qualifications. Can they? Can they? Uh, can we challenge that? I want to challenge that. How do I challenge that? Well, I don't know. <laughs> you can. Uh, you can contest. Well, I suppose the election. Good. And I'd have to look up the statutes from that because it hasn't ever been done as long as I've worked here. Wow. That's interesting. I would suggest next time that they file, then that way they're on the ballot. Right. Yeah. But this is this is part of your rules. They have the right to do this. Yes, they I, do. I would try to get them to do this too. I was I, yeah. I got as many people as I could on that ballot. 
but I still had this timeline to keep doing this. Mm -hmm. I still did all that as according to the rules. Mm -hmm. And you know, I spent a lot of time and energy and effort and money doing this, and they didn't get on. And now we can't challenge why they didn't get on. Or they didn't well, qualify. You know, I think there's probably nothing more that we Why didn't they qualify? qualify? Okay, I don't care I what you call it. At individual. We, we already went through all of that. And we're beyond no, no, that now. Sir, what, and you are, not me. Is about to be, you know, it will, the results and will be certified on Friday. See, I can't even find, can you give me a list of the, the people that no, were written in that are not qualified right now so I know who's on there and who, who's not? You can't even do that, can you? I can provide that on Friday. After it's well, all too late. It looks. Well, no. After I'm everything's finalized, you'll finally give me who made it, who well, didn't. Can, Why can't I know this now? Why don't you? Well, you can look at the filed candidates. We have those results. So I got those right here. I, I wrote, I guarantee you, everybody that was on the ballot got elected. So the only issue is the people that were written in. I've got an issue of trying to get everybody written in. I understand you have an issue with that. However, I also can let you know that I participated in auditing all of those PCP ballots. It took almost four full days. I'm just now calculating the expense to conduct just the PCP election. And they're accurate what we have tallied according to you i'm and challenging no, that i'm just, challenging that not just me there were other staff involved no one works independently on anything that has to do with tallying results how many people got written in in precinct 1677 i don't know i don't have the tally. i don't have those ballots in front of me anymore nor would we even keep track of that. We, we would have them on a tally sheet, and then that's where they'd go. A lot of people would get one vote. And, um, you know, Why don't you keep a tally sheet that we can go back and look at? Because don't, don't you do record we, keeping? We do, and we do not have to provide that. Why not? You're a public service. You're right. You're to the public. Do, I, do we provide the, the, the ballots or the tally sheets? The tally sheets for other contests, we don't. So, what do you mean? If we were to do a hand tally, we don't provide those hand tally sheets to other um, jurisdictions. Okay. Well, this is this jurisdiction. You're the one that that went through these results. Mm -hmm. Why don't you keep the? The uh, information. We do, we do keep that information. By statute, we have to keep that information X amount of time. However, How long do you keep that? The tally sheets, I believe they're, I don't know how much they are. They could be up to two, it could be up to two years. I have to look at the statutes for archives. So you'll have this information for two years? Of mm -hmm. this After election. I validate that. You'll, you'll have the ballots in your boxes that you have right now, you'll keep those for two years, the results for that? How long I do you keep? To validate that. How long do you keep the ballots? Two years. The ballots for two years mm -hmm. and the tally sheet for two years. I don't know about tally sheets. Oh, I have okay. to look that up. I've said that three times, okay? okay? And I'm done with this conversation. So if you Excuse have anything me. else that has to do there. with the election results, if you have any other questions about the election results, we will have that final, you know, the final um, certification and, and by so Friday. Well. Okay. And that's going to statute. And you don't know how yeah, to contest this? I don't. I, you know, I, I, you can contact the Secretary of State's office or refer to the statutes. Which statutes? How do I look that up? Oregon Revised Statutes for Elections. Okay. All right. Thank you, Roxy. Thanks. Roxanne. Roxanne. Sorry.